Good morning and welcome to our first Chess with Year 6 writing video for this week. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you're ready to do some exciting learning this week with your writing. What we're going to be doing this week is you're going to be imagining you're an evacuee who was evacuated to Michelin Priory during World War II and you're going to be writing a letter home to a relative. Now obviously a lot of you will have lots to say about this from your trip to Michelin Priory last week when we found out lots about the children who were evacuated there during the war. But even if you weren't, don't worry, because you can use all the learning we've been doing in our history lessons, and we're also going to be giving you some more information to use this week. What you're going to do today, we found you a couple of really good videos online that you can watch using the links we've given you. The first video is a woman who is remembering being evacuated. I think she lived in London, being evacuated during World War II and talking all about her experiences. And the second one is actually a cartoon, a day in the life of a 10 year old evacuee and gives you lots more ideas about what children did during the time they were evacuated. So you're going to watch those videos once through without stopping, just enjoy them. And then I'd like you to watch them again. And this time you're going to pause uh, to give you a chance to make some notes, which will help you with your writing. So I'm just going to use my whiteboard here. It's a bit smaller than the whiteboards we have in the classroom, but I think I'll be okay. Um, and in your exercise book that you got on Friday, um, you're going to just draw a really simple table like this, using a ruler and a pencil or a pen, whatever you like. And on this side, you're going to have key events. So you can write down there anything that you think was important in the evacuee story. So for example, the first thing might be saying goodbye at the train station, maybe to their parents or their grandparents, or it could have been at the bus station, depending on how you decide your evacuee got to Mission and Priory. And then for each key event that you write down, you're going to think about how the evacuees were feeling at that moment. How would you feel if that happened to you? So I've given you some examples on the website, um, and I've given you an example of what the table should look like, so don't worry if you can't remember all this. But for example, you might have felt really overwhelmed, excuse my writing, about saying goodbye to your parents and not knowing when you might see them again. You might feel really excited, you might feel some positive feelings as well because you're going off on this amazing adventure to the countryside and you've never been there before, you've grown up in London. Or you might feel a bit confused about what's going on and so on. So watch the video a second time, pause it to make some notes. That's what you're going to be doing today. And then you'll be able to use all the information you've gathered in the next lesson tomorrow when we go on to plan your letter home to a relative. Okay, I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you have fun doing this and I'll see you again tomorrow.